three day in Southern California. They are ready for the start of the NBA Finals. For the defending NBA champion Lakers, the long layoff is over as they make their 26th trip to the finals, the most appearances in the history of the NBA. Shaquille O'Neal, following a subpar first half of the season, is at the top of his game. Shaq and Kobe Bryant have worked out their differences. They're now the most powerful one-two combination in basketball. And they'll face the NBA's most valuable player, Allen Iverson, who comes off a spectacular 44-point game against Milwaukee on Sunday, plus the defensive player of the year, Dikembe Mutombo, who has been on a tear during this postseason, but now must contend with the premier center in the league. Dude, when he does it, they are four and five. Hey. Let's shoot the ball. Kobe Bryant lost it. Here's Iverson. Oh, this is a sloppy start by the Lakers. The basketball. And this is what they do. They force turnovers. They average almost 10 steals a game. And then they run out on these steals. This is how Iverson gets in the open court. And Marvin, if you want to talk about Philadelphia and how they're... And the Kepi Batumbo with the rebound. Yes, how good was that? I mean, Kobe Bryant right on him. He drives it and gets Allen Iverson in the open floor. Impossible to guard. Kobe does a nice job. He gets a hand up, but that's why he's the MVP. The ability to make those kind of shots. The Mark Moore. Shot clock down at two. Out of one. Iverson. Oh, what a spectacular finish as the Sixers use the full 24. Now, how many guys do you know when they're struggling to shoot the ball with but you know what? The shot clock is winding down. You're going to have to block it again. This time, a tough shot over Brian Shaw, almost behind the basket. The Sixers are not going to go away. They've not shot the ball well, but they're hanging around within 10. Style that you don't see that often. They're starting to defend much better right now. Mark. All right, here's Iverson. Yes, and out of Iverson. Picked it up. That's his fourth field goal. He has a just inch along till he's underneath the basket. You cannot play him, and Matumbo cannot take the foul. He already has one. Iverson again. This guy has such courage. Kept alive by Fox, getting it to Brian. He's turned back by Hill. Two and Iverson behind the back. Snow able to finish, and the Sixers are now down by three. They lost it. The key took it away for Kobe. You can see Allen slowing down, trying to draw the foul. Goal. 12 points for Iverson, picking it up after the one for five start. He is five for his last eight from the field. The Lakers getting off to the early lead. Now lead by one, 23 to 22. Eric Snow able to finish off the break. That's the end of one here in Los Angeles. Back with the second quarter in a moment. This club four by the Sixers. Philadelphia with a 17-5 run to end the first quarter. Lakers have led by as many as 13. Allen Iverson on fire has given the set. Lit up the Lakers for 40 and uh, Kobe back in his hometown of Philadelphia playing with a sore shoulder. Allen Iverson, 19 points. Phil Jackson taking the timeout. Allen Iverson with 19 points. Eight of 19 from the field. Philly up by five. Thing of the hand. McKee. Iverson. Yes. That was not pretty by Aaron McKee, but somehow he found. In fact, Croce backed his coach, told Iverson Lowry was not going anywhere. Again. The pressure defense is what he's been good at his entire career. He stepped right in the passing lane, almost like a defensive back, laying back there where Kobe could not see him. He lays the ball in the basket. And these are the kind of plays with Allen Iverson that made his 11 uh, playoff games. And here on the first half, just two for nine from the field. Iverson for three. Yes! Allen Iverson. His right arm, it should be short on his left one, Barb. The way he's getting that shot's up right now tonight. <laughs> and here comes another one. He is fierce. This young guy is amazing. Same play this time. The Sixers stop it. He steps back and hits the jump shot. 
And you know what? When you hit jump shots, they got to crowd you. Now you use that quickness. So he's got the entire package back. And Fox lost it. Here's Iverson with a deal chasing. Iverson takes all the way. Iverson from way downtown. <laughs> Allen Iverson with but Allen Iverson. Working so hard here over the last eight minutes, he finally gets a big three-pointer to go. And then the swarming... At that time in the game. The 76ers with the ball down by one. Iverson for three. Yes! Allen Iverson has given the six... Fighting back. Seven on answer for the 76ers. Iverson. Bothered by Lou. Iverson. Yes. How about that? Steps, steps over to Ron Lou. Seven straight points by Iverson. Knocks down the stretch. Allen Iverson, the courage of this young guy. He'd been totally shut down. Gets out of the break, hits a three to give his team a two-point lead. And then he steps back in the corner. Uh, to Ron Lou all over it. Steps back, the pullback jumper buries it. And watch him step right over the top of Teron Lou. Let's him know that seven straight points. Rock will count. The Philadelphia 76ers have defeated the Los Angeles Lakers in game one. Allen Iverson with some big buckets down the stretch after going quiet for quite some time in the second half thanks to the excellent defensive job by the Lakers. But Iverson finished with 48, Shaquille O'Neal with 44, Kobe Bryant only 7 of 21 for 15 points. Have ended the 19-game winning streak by the Lakers. No one expected that to happen. You were hot early. You cooled off because of the defense from Tyrone Lue. How did you get it back? It was holding me the whole time. And, and it's, uh, once he got on me, you know. But, um, I mean, it's just... That's the way we are. You know, we play hard. We came in here, you know, expecting to win. You know, everybody already counted us out. And, you know, we're not going to act like we won it all right now because we still have some more business ahead of us. You know, we're just going to keep playing hard and whatever happens, happens. Since you have shocked everybody here, what do you take out of this game for game two? We know we can win, you know, and we knew we can win before we came here. You know, everybody, you know, counted us out, like I said. But, you know, they thought we were going to get swept, you know, and that's like a slap in the face for everything that we worked for all year. And I'm just happy my teammates hung in there and we got this win.